Hello you, welcome to Geekism. There we go folks, happy Flurms Day, day 31 of our uh, of our daily Animal Crossing live streams. Day 31, we haven't been, we've done a better month, that is a full honest to goodness calendar 31 day month. My wordy, that's impressive for me. <laughs> hope you're doing well folks, I hope you're enjoying whatever this is, you know. Funny the chat always turns to food, yeah. Sounds about right. I've just, we've just eaten. We had a McDonald's today. Because we were in a rush. Indiana. It's beautiful, babe. It was quiet and not normally quiet. Um, do, do, do. Just finished catching up the past two. KKSI just arrived on my island today. I'm so excited. Nice one. Beanie Boot. The game really opens up now for you. Can't believe we've been in quarantine. Uh, we've been in quarantine food an entire month for an entire month. Yeah, see? Wait, McDonald's is open? Uh, McDonald's drive through is open, yeah. Yeah, most most uh, most takeaway places are still doing drive throughs and stuff, yeah. Um, the close complete in the UK, yeah, that's right. Well, you know, you all didn't you all didn't stop home when you should have done, <laughs> so you've had to take more drastic measures than us, unfortunately. Uh, but the game yesterday, awesome. Headache for free. Oh, I'm alright. But you don't worry about being here, Autumn. If you want to go and get yourself some rest, it's all good. Um, yeah, it actually feels longer than a month for me. I finished work the day after. Oh, it's all good. So, it's been longer than a month for me. We, it's been a month since Animal Crossing came out, but we were we were quarantined uh, eight days, I think, before that. So, first Animal Crossing stream, I just paid off my first house debt, which is very exciting. Awesome, Alex. Welcome. Um... This just got back to work, so I'm going to have a share and get change. Awesome, Eden, we'll be here. And, uh, good stuff. Anyway, right, you're all very welcome here today. I hope we have some fun. Let's uh, let's just tweet. Let's do the tweets that we're here, because, you know, I throw it everywhere. I throw it everywhere I can to say we're going live. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's, you know, the, the Animal Crossing, you know, like the Discord. And then people turn up in LA and go, oh my god, I didn't even realize it started. <laughs> so, yeah. Really, dee dee. So, I try and let everyone know. And for the most part, it's the same time, right? I can hear that uh, balloon as well, by the way. But I can't actually see the game. You're looking at it, but I'm not. So, let's move my screen over. There we go. Uh, Miss this weekend stream, so I spent all morning watching both in preparation. Awesome, up shorty. That's uh, that's a good effort. Um, hold on, somebody's messaging me. Uh, um. Right, okay. PB and J. I'm not a PB guy. I'll go J. But I ain't, I ain't so hot on the PB. I won't lie. Don't hate the stuff. But don't. But not like crazy fan, if I'm totally honest, you know. Uh, anyway, we're going to get started properly there. Sorry, excuse me. Apologies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Right, okay. Oh, I can hear myself. Jay. I'm not a PB guy. I'm not a PB guy, see? 
like me in four seconds behind knows this as well. Another PB guy. Why can't I share when I want to share? Game's gone up again. Look, this is absolute pro. Right, there we go. Share. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Share to a group. There we go. So I've been, I've been making some nice little buddies over in the uh, New Horizons over 25s club. So I've been uh, I've been sharing stuff over there to let them know we're streaming. Uh, okay, cool. Right, here we go. Jumped about with the quasi cards. So there you go. Right, okay. Let's get started. So. First things first, I haven't really done much this morning. It came on very briefly because um, uh, a buddy uh, a buddy of mine um, dropped off a couple of fossils I needed. So we're going to throw those in. I'm in a little group. There's about four or five of us who are, who are keeping hold of our... Um, can I join if I'm 24? I, can't, I couldn't see why not, Caitlin, yeah. <laughs> it just gets rid of a lot of like kids on there, you know. I'm sure 24-year-olds will be allowed. Um, yeah, so, I, so I've got a couple of fossils to turn in, and then we've got to go and find our daily fossil. I haven't done no dailies today, so we'll do a few. But um, but my main my main thing I want to work on today is the farm. So got into a bit of a groove with the farm last night, right? Um, um, got into a bit of a groove with the farm last night, got some work done. So apologies, I'm kind of getting into that habit at the minute where I spend the dream kind of... I spend the dream. I spend the stream, excuse me, like like kind of figuring things out, and then get it all done after stream. <laughs> yeah, we let Malova in, and he definitely doesn't look like he's ever twenty. Yeah, exactly. Where is he anyway? Is he here to defend himself? <laughs> um, that was a big jump from Facebook to here. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Paul's a friend of mine in real life. Yeah, it's yeah. Nobody watches on Facebook, but it's literally like all I have to do is press share to Facebook as well, and it does it. So why not, eh? Uh, why not, indeed? So. <laughs> now he's not here, is he? It's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. Right. So that's that's fossils done. Right. Um. Let's move. Let's head over to the farm, and I'll show you what I did last night. Um, and whoever it was as well, saying Aubrey would have an empty slot. It's, that's true. She does. I I didn't exist. I went. I thought it would go straight to Aubrey in boxes, but it's not. Uh, we now have here. Boom. So that's where Aubrey is gonna be. Uh, Audie. I keep calling her Aubrey. Audie. So she's coming tomorrow. So that'd be fun. I might go and watch on Facebook tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> it makes no difference, really. Just, you know, you watch wherever you are. Audi's wonderful, yeah. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Aubrey. How do we get in the Over 25 Club? It's just a Facebook group. It's just called Over 25s. It's not like a special club or anything. It's literally just a, it's just a Facebook group. So somebody in the comments said, turn this around. Ah. I see. There's a little door on that side. That's cute, isn't it? Okay, so I've done some work here then. This has been uh, left. Um, hi, Lisa. I know Lisa in real life as well. So that's what you get when you put it on Facebook. You get people, you, people from your real life world find you. Um, so uh, corral fencing. Thank you very much. That was off of um, that was off of. Uh, oh, I got Limburg up there. Jordan sent me some corral fencing. That's nice, isn't it? I'm gonna use that around the dock. Um, and then also, I think he sent me some more beehives. Let's have a look. Beekeeper's hive. Yeah, and we're going to have to go through these and, and make them all the same colour. Because we've got that one odd one over there, look. Uh, beekeeper's hive, my word. Okay, so we could do a, we can do a proper, proper good... A I want to say apiary? Is that the word? Is that the word? Ap apiary for, for beans? So I've got all my turnips are there. Uh, and then up here I started doing... I thought they wouldn't grow, but it's actually weird because like two of them have grown. Um, and I suppose that's fine. Just a little weird, I guess. But 
Yeah, Beekeeper Hives Bible or they're a DIY, Danny, but I don't have the DIY. But luckily, I have lovely people who send me things. So um, yeah, it's the the beehives are it uses a wasp nest and a few bits of wood or something. But anyway, yeah, started working on the sort of like ruggedy path here that then comes down. I think that's worked out quite nicely, hasn't it? I think that's turned out pretty good. So obviously, we're going to move them today. Um, we're going to finish off the corral fencing around this bit. Uh, the the county fencing what's it called country fencing excuse me um and then we'll, and we'll do that so first of all and we've still got to do uh, norma's garden sherb's garden's looking fine all of this area needs redoing uh, here we go this is where the corral fencing's gonna go to start off with anyway um it's just it's just quite a good standard fence i think that's like like wooden don't you feel each other's those trees with space all around will grow yeah that's the problem so I don't think we're going to be able to keep it completely sapling free. I'll just try to little think about how that works. But um, but yeah, otherwise, do we? Can we? No, we can't. I was going to say, can we do that there? But no, alas. Oh, oh, Flora's having a run. We're going to say hi to Flora in a minute. So here is um, Jack's house. Jack is our dock master, so he's here. Keeping an eye on the docks as we come into the island. Um, the inside shows Jack in a very different light. Because he, he, he's dressed like a little dock worker. He's dressed like a little dock worker. Um, uh, but on the inside, he's a DJ. So we've um, our, our morning price was good, you know. Our morning price was 147. Uh, what you doing? How's Indiana? She's good. She's just chilling out. Indiana's doing well. Um, my kid decides to time travel because he missed the shop being open and he spoiled all my turnips. Don't. Video games are not for kids. I don't know how many times I have to keep pointing this out to people. Video games are not for kids. Especially video games full of cute animals. Log steaks. God, they don't have to make some crap. Um... There we go. Don't judge his hobbies. No, I know you. Yeah. He's 14. No. This is an 18 plus game. <laughs> Jacques works all day and parties all night. That is right, actually, yes. He parties hard. Bye, Jacques. Okay. Uh, morning times were 171, afternoon 90. Does that, what does that mean? I've got to put it into one of these AC turnip guides, right? Let's go and see what it is this afternoon. Let's, let me bring up a turnip guide website. Oops. That one there, let's see. Hold on. Because there's these ones you can type in and they'll kind of, they'll work out your, uh... my turnip price is morning with 49 and this one is 91. That's good. Turnip profit is telling me I could get up to 600 this week. Noise. Let's have a look. Turnip price is 105. Okay. So again, a small profit. But I think it's the first time I've ever had, like, positive like positive numbers to be honest with you i always get like 60 odd um okay let's let's just have a look at this turnip price index thing then that you can work them out on just give me a sec uh i think it's ac is it called ac turnips there's a couple of different websites right turnip a few people have been sharing them on their on my twitter because i've been looking for i'm gonna do a video about all the cool websites you can use so there's this one yeah here we go all right, so let me show you. Let me get this up on the screen for you. Um, boom, boom. Um, which one's it going to be? Browser source? No. I can never remember which one it is. Window? Window capture. There we go. Uh, Okay. Uh, right. Here we go. So you should be able to see that now. Okay. So what you can do here then is this is this is ac-turnip.com, right? And and basically what you do is you put your buy price in, which was 106 this week was a little high, and it gives you this idea that here that say morning, at the moment, like I don't know how it does it. It's just, it's just maths. Right? It's just maths. It's really small. Oh, what, the, the numbers are really small? Okay, hold on. Uh, how's that? Is that better? 
There we go. Um, hey, Musox. The, the, I think, personally, the app was quite useful. Yeah, I use it quite a lot. Um, the travel guide has it built in. It does? It does? Continue. More. Flowers, songs, villagers, fruit, shells, events. I can't see it. Flowers? F fruit? Is it classed as fruit? No. Events? Oh, island designer. Turnip calculator. Oh, it just go. Yeah, sorry. It just takes you to the website. It's not actually a separate thing. It just takes you to this website. Um, okay, so, but I'll bring it up here so you guys can see. So, 106. So, my mon morning AM was 147. And what you'll see is as this number goes in, so now we've got this, we've, there's a possible early peak now. And we put our evening number in, which, which is 105. Right. So, it looks like. It looks like the best we're gonna get. Oh, so hold on. This is the this is the minimum. So we could we could completely bottom out, right? Can we? Well, what's the guaranteed minimum? Oh, okay. Guaranteed minimum. So the best minimum it can be is now. Right. Turnip exchange for me. Yeah, I'm thinking turnip exchange for me too, really. Because like the it looks like the best I'm going to do at the moment is like 220. Maximum 214. So, horribly confused. So, what you do is you type your numbers in and then you show it. This is the week. Like this, this top line here is the best you're going to do all week. This bottom line here is the worst you're going to do all week. And the more numbers you put in, like for instance, if I put 98 in there, it, it starts to figure it out. If I put if I put 180 in there, I'm probably messing up the system now because it's got no idea what this, this isn't one of the patterns, right? But the more information you give it, the more it tells you whether you're going to do. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to, I favorited that already. Turnip calculator, there it is. And that and so tomorrow morning I'll type that in. So it looks like tomorrow. Like it's probably going to be the best I'm going to get. So if I if I if I bottle out tomorrow and it drops down again, then I go and find somewhere on the turnip exchange that's got a that's got a super de duper one, right? No, there we go. <laughs> right. So uh, anyway, should we play the game? We haven't actually done that yet, have we? Oh, we've only got a thing off off Jack. Um. Do, do, do. Current price is 105. That's not bad. Anything else you can do for today? No. Uh, oh, I might have something. I might have some stuff to shift. Actually, I've got all sorts of crap on me. Actually, it might all be stuff that I want though. Uh, I'm gonna keep the DIYs. Somebody said a nice thing to do with the DIYs is have them around the front of the island so people visit they can come and take them. And I think that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure we've got orange. Oh no, we don't sell it. We've got orange rug. But yeah, I think that's a nice idea. We'll make like a little stall that has them on. Yeah. Du, du, du. I know we just look, and if it's over about 1.30, I'm like, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, see, I, that's probably how I need to do it, really, rather than trying to really sort of stock. I could just do with one good payment, I think. Like another couple of mil. And then I'm going to be pretty sorted. Like, there isn't that much to spend your money on after a while, right? Especially if you've got, like, friends that you can trade stuff with. Like, there isn't that much need to have all the all the big old cash, right? Um, okay, let's head to... Uh, let's head home, because we need to make up some more country fencing. That is something we need to do. Lots of fruit in today, which is looking good. Oh, and the... Um, the the for the uh, flower forest with Deidre's moved to is absolutely popping as well. Uh, let's check all your mail. Thank you so much. How many black roses going? Oh, that's a good point. We'll go and check those out as well. Uh, first of all, we got some lovely gifts from Nook Shopping and a few uh, Daisy May. She's got bamboo shoots from me. Always does have Nook Shopping. Nice uh, Nook Shopping. Nice. 
Look the shopping. Noise. And Stella Blue has sent us some lovely things. Uh, I don't know if you've got this yet, but here you go. Thank you, Stella. Um, so you can share. Thank you, Stella. Let's see what those are. I love game. Uh, Prezzy's off you lot. It's a fishing waders. Oh. And a wizard's cap. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. What do these look like? Pockets are full, so you can't get away with item after change. Ah, so this is like a double thing? Okay, okay. Um, is there any way to stack up stuff? Orange molded panel wall. Oh, that was thingy last night. Um, ghosty. What's his name? Do you need a recipe for car fence? I do, but I'm going to have a look. It might be valuable in my shop. Like I say, Jordan sent me a pile of them through, which I appreciate. Well, I don't. It's one of the ones I don't have the recipe for. One of the like, there's two I don't have the recipe for. I think it's that one and iron. Um. Boom! 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 Oh. Oh dear, it took a weird, weird twist, didn't it? Right, let's shuffle. <laughs> it was doing so well. Uh, okay, hand cart, we need to keep on us. Hay bed, hand cart, we need to keep on us. So let's have a look at these. Oh, look at those. Oh, see, I do, I like, I do like my fishing waistcoat, but I think that looks, they look pretty smart as a fishing outfit. We'll put them into storage. Uh, we'll put our wizard stone into storage, and we might change that out later on. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Wasp nest haver, we need all of this. We need all of this. Uh, we need all of these. We've just, we've got no space, have we? That could go away. Um, uh, these, these little odd bits can go away. This bamboo can go away. Um, that is it, really. We need to go and. We need to go and empty some stuff out of our bags. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. I guess it's not KK now. It's a fishing outfit. Yeah, it's good, right? The summer fishing tourney. I think that sounds like a good idea. I mean, we just we do have a we have a pretty sweet fishing outfit already, but that is like that is just the the nuts, isn't it? Look, oh, here we go. Where's where's fishing? There's fishermen. And I mean, I do like that. I, I feel like I feel like the wading one might be even better. I could maybe swap the top out on hiker because that that could go as a hiking hiking top as well, couldn't it? I might do that. Keep the rest. Anyway, we're in our workshops. Let's get our workshop outfit on. Uh, okay, so what do we uh, what do we need for making corral fence? Let's have a look. What did we get new there? Orange wall, gross. Um, so we need some other stuff. Corral fence. Um, uh, not corral fence, sorry. Country fence. Just hardwood. Okay. Hardwood. There's a shirt with binoculars on that could be perfect for hiking. Do you know what? I had that. That was my very first outfit on here. Before we got the Explorer outfit, we had that shirt with the, with the binoculars on. And it's just the fact that it's like a flat image, as I know. It's not. It isn't as hot as I think it could be. KK Ragtime, man, yeah? Ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba. Oi! Uh, was that your late night DJ voice? Uh, sometimes I just slip into it. I don't mean to. Talking of slipping into. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Oh, thank you, Chloe. You didn't have to do that. I could have gone and checked it to see if we got it ourselves, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh god, indeed. <laughs> it's a definite con. Yeah, it's a shame. It looks good. I'm gonna make 30 of these up. Actually, maybe I'm gonna more. Jeez. 
Excuse me, I'm getting a... It messages off people. There we go. Uh, key crafting. Might as well make a, a load of them. I had a spare book. I, I had a spare book of accident. Oh, thanks, Chloe. That's great. I uh, just got the golden casket recipe. Now, what's her Knox house? Yeah, you're gonna make up a house just like Knox. Does anyone uh, know how to get the brick fence? Is it from Nook Miles program? Yeah. So every day, um, in the Nook Miles store, there are two fences available, and it, and they just rotate basically, or they're just random which two come up. Um, so for a large fence, yes, yeah, so no, you get you get every one of those crafts was ten fence pieces. Um. So you don't have to do like every single individual piece, but yeah, it's ten. So you need thirty pieces. You, you may, you're crafting three times, so it's not terrible, but it's not great. Oh, oh thanks, Tom. Thought it was going to be another doll. Uh, what's your refrigeration? Thank you. Bubblegum KK. Nice. I think we've got that one. Thank you, Lantis. We'll sort that out later. Uh, okay, been waiting for the DIY. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, I'm the same. There's a couple I've been missing for quite a while. Okay, so first of all, we're on the farm. So let's make that happen. Boom. Okay. And then we need a. Uh, uh, no, not corral fencing. Country fencing. We've got 50 to play with. That's nice. So we'll do that. That. Oh, come on. Ah, we're not quite done with this lot. We need to do. We need to do something else because we've got we've got we've got to put dirt under those five bottom trees. Lock. I've obviously messed that up a little. Okay. So let's drop some stuff down here for now. So we've got enough space to pick up five trees. Which we now have. Okay, cool. Um, um, love your outfits. Thank you, Ashley. I think it's uh it's a it's an effort, but it works well. <laughs> We lead. Oh no. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that one. Uh, here he is. Here he is. Okay. Right. Let's get our uh, island designer on the go. Oh, it's nowhere near done yet, Clara, but thank you. Why do you think it looks good? Um, oh, we need to change, because people moan if we don't. And our safety first outfit on. Young man. Uh, okay. Let me go back to uh, country fencing. No, 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 not fencing. God, what am I doing? We need to, we need to make that floor dark. Dirt. There we go. The bodies do a great job. They do every single day of the week. Okay, so we can we plant? Yes, there we go. So I don't need a shovel. What do you do? What you got about money for? I would love some safety goggles. I don't know if they have them. The only thing I don't like about the shades is that they're not is they're not safety goggles. Safety goggles really really work here. Okay. So yeah, I'm not too sure what's gonna happen with those trees. Let's keep an eye on that. Um I suppose what we what we you'd have to do is plant ten of them separate, and then the next day when they get like this size, plant them all next to each other, and that would stop them growing, right? I think that's what you'd have to do. Maybe we could look at doing that to get it just right. Just right. I'm hoping after this we should have a four star rating. I think after this, I think it's kind of insane that we only have two stars still. Okay. 
Right, so we're going to have to move a couple of these trees, so we'll, we'll eat these quick. Um, I know it's ridiculous eating pears. They're not have native fruit, but the trees will die. Do they die if they can't keep growing? Oops. I just thought they kind of halt, halt the growth. Can you get gates? No, I don't believe so, no. Not that I've seen. Okay. Oh, it was a doll. <laughs> you know what I said before? That he was sending me a dinosaur. And I said, oh, it could I thought it was gonna be a doll. Yeah, it's it's a doll. That's six. Six dolls he sent me now. <laughs> ah, arsehole. Right, okay. We've got three apples in us. Three pears in us. <laughs> uh, did I have any turns on the ground effect? I'm rating a three star rating on Saturday. Bought my turnips. Yeah, well, they probably do class as junk, right? But no, we, we, were, at th we were at three stars and we've been... Um, we've been at we got three stars. Of it. it was two stars for ages. We got to three stars. Um, and we got to three stars, and I don't think we've increased from that. And like you say, things like turnips on the ground don't really help. Okay, so Deidre's moved now. Yes. Okay, so that tree is going to have to move. So we can sort of plan all this stuff. Do you know what? This this here might be a decent spot for the beekeepers, actually. Or I because I was originally I was thinking like over here. But I kinda like the idea of them being somewhere that's maybe a little bit more uh seen, I guess. I don't know. Let's let's have a little thing. I'm gonna replant these trees, first of all, in, in unoffensive spots. So that can go there, that's fine. Okay. Um John is this Stardew Valley? It is now. <laughs> no, there's currently no um, there's no actual farming in the game. Although there are rumours of it coming, if you want to believe them, I don't know because I don't think there's been farming in the game before. Although there was there was there was what were the other turnips? There was red. There used to be red turnips that you could water right and and harvest for money, and then white ones worked like a stock exchange. Um, so maybe, may, maybe there's a, uh, there's, there's space, uh, in this game for farming and, and this, this is the kind of space that will become that in, in the future if, if they ever do add it as a, as a feature. Oh, that's a bit too close. Let's try there. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to draw out, uh, another path here for this. Could get huge and self lowers. That was it, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do another one here that will put something like some flowers in or something. So somebody suggested the yellow hy hyacinths uh, look pretty good as, like, corn. Uh, and somebody said that the green um, mums look good as like a, I don't know, like, like just like a, a lettucey, cabbagey type thing. Um, I don't have either <laughs> uh, to hand. I mean, the green ones are obviously you're farming those, aren't you? But that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm thinking we do. Okay. Do you think they'll add more fruit? I would be surprised if they add more fruit, uh, only because like the, the the five fruit, the five these five main fruit have been like with the game since forever, you know. Uh, green mums are super rare, yeah, exactly. So, um, so I don't know whether or not it would really make much of a difference, um, or, or it would be a little weird if they if they added in, uh, if they added in different fruits, you know. Okay, country fence. Must be two other fruit. They did. They they did. Bananas and dorians and lemons and new. Oh, see, I never played New Leaf. I've only ever played the original and the um. What was the one on the Wii? Was it City? 
I've never played one. I've never played any of the handheld ones. I've never had a handheld. I've never only had handheld consoles. Yeah. So that's so I'm talking about my arse then, basically, is what we're saying. So yeah, maybe they'll add those. That's sort of thing they can add. I think I do think what they what their plan is with this one, especially, is is adding more content over over a longer space of time, you know, and treating it a little bit more like a game as a service. Because you've got to remember, you have to pay to play this online, right? So even though you don't have to pay for it, like if you want to do anything with friends or anything, you're paying for an online account, right? So so they're going to want to keep people attached to that. Okay, so what we're going to put in this one then? We could just do some of these, like white, white wildflower, wind, white, white windflower. We've got white hyacinths. We've got yellow hyacinths. There, we've got three. So that if we've got three of them, that means there's that means there's more of them around the island. And apparently, they look they look good as like wheat. So I say we go and find the yellow hyacinths, dig them up. And replace them with uh, with something else, right? Okay, cool. Right, let's go, and we'll see as well what the um, what the flower the flower uh, forest is looking like. Oh, there's the gold thing. We'll come back and do that later. So here we go. This is re this has got all clear out. This is really starting to pop now. Look. I get a path along here and a little bit of fencing and stuff. Thank you, Parallax. Parallax, even. Why in the world... Uh, oh, you didn't have to donate <laughs> to, to ask me this. Why in the world did they get blocked for offering people bells? They give away loads of bells all the time via streams, and I don't get blocked. Anything like that is considered spam, Parallax. Please uh, uh, feel free to rescind your donation. Um, anything like giving away stuff or anything, it's, it, it's just spam. The chat is for talking about the video, not for offering services, whether they be free or not. Uh, right, we've got literally one yellow hyacinth there. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Um, you may well be genuine in your offer, but you'd be amazed at how many full spammy things we get on the channel offering f stuff or bells or nook miles and stuff. And we have to... Uh, we have to think about the uh, the safety of our members, so yeah, that's why. Uh, okay, so we've got four of them, so we'll replace them with some white. No, white wind flowers is right there, right next to them. White, what? No, orange wind flowers. That'll look good. Oh, there's one of them right above them. Never mind. Uh, is that it here? Is that one over there? Yeah. Okay. Just found your stream and you seem really nice. Thank you. You're wrong. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> we just, we laid back, we chilled out. We don't take any crap. So yeah, as much as I'm sure your uh, suggestions are genuine. Uh, it's just not sort of thing we do here. Anything like that, spammy, free stuff. It's, just, you know, it's not how we roll. We just enjoy the game and enjoy each other's company. Uh, best way to win money? Uh, well, turnips, really, but you have to sort of speculate to accumulate with turnips. Oh, labels here today, I didn't even notice that. Uh, you have to speculate to accumulate with turnips. I think after that, probably, at the moment, Tarantula Island it earns best bells per moment's working. Uh, the problem is, he's getting that, he's getting it to spawn because the, the made one doesn't work very well. Uh, uh, Forumtastic, thank you so much for the super chat. Very much appreciated, uh, my friends. Thank you. Okay, there's going to be some up on that, some up on that cliff there that are going to be a right issue to get to. What? Whoa! What was that? Flower power. Two hundred. Planting flowers makes around bug roof also go wild. Yes. Now is that two hundred on the island, or planting two hundred? I think it's probably planting two hundred, isn't it? Which makes me realise that it isn't that many, and no reason, no wonder they keep asking for uh, more flowers. First transfer island last night, nice. 
more claps than I realise. Yeah, it's there's like a full... Oh, our bags are full anyway. It's like a full DNA system, right? It's intense. Uh, hi, Blueberry Bin. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Good way to get fast cash is to get some blue flowers and you'll be spammed by peacock butterflies and they're two and a half K a pop. Uh, it doesn't need to be blue flowers, just just any uh, hybrid flower will get peacock butterflies. Um, but yeah, Trancher Island probably at the moment is just... Oh, hey Norm. Norma. Mmm. Our bags are full. Keep forgetting. Don't have your bags full when you talk to somebody. Probably want to give you something. Oh, there's the yellow hyacinth. Look, we'll come back and get that one in a minute. Billy dee dee. Billy dee dee. Okay. Right, so how many more? One, two, three more. Uh, three more. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brandy. The super chat didn't buy the game or Nintendo Online with your code. Oh, don't worry. Uh, so I wanted to donate, hopefully, uh, some of what you would have gotten with your links. Wow, I'll be honest with you, a $10 super chat is way more than I would have got from you buying the game on affiliate links. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I think if somebody buys Animal Crossing, I get a dollar. Like, so, yeah, don't worry about that at all. Thank you. <laughs> um, what else have we got? We can go there. Maybe a white wind flower. Seems, space seems a little empty. Definitely space for some more plants here. Two of those. I can always move some of these around later on, but for now, why not? Um, just starting to get the game two days ago, and I've got the shop today. Any advice for going ahead? So after the shop, what's the next thing you have to do after the shop? Isn't it then the the three? There's the next thing you have to do. I think is build three uh, houses for people, right? Because uh, people don't read the description, Lucy. Yeah, no dodo codes in chat, folks. Um, yeah, it does. It looks a bit wheaty. It's a it's a bit too bright yellow, isn't it? But it, yeah, it's okay. I can go with that. It looks a bit like wheat. I can take it. Um, where did we say there was going to be more? Oh, yeah, the top of those cliffs. Oh, right over the river. Uh, it's people, yeah, people. In fact, a lot of the, um, it turns out a lot of the people asking for dodo codes uh, are bots, actually. They're not even, they're not even real people. I'm sure some of them are. But yeah, a lot of them are. We give them the benefit of the doubt and, and put one of those like no dodo codes in the chat message, please. But for the most part, they're they're, they're bots. They just go through every stream and just type in uh, a dodo code. What do we get? Some funky and elegant hats. I'm sure we're not going to be able to wear right now. I want to see what my elegant hat looks like. There's two yellows just up a bit. Where? I've got my phone mirror to my TV, watching live and playing on my Switch. My boyfriend just rolled his eyes and shook his head. Tell me this, Brandy. Does your, does your boyfriend follow any sports? Uh, thank you for noticing my chat. Hey, no worries. I try and read all of them. It, the chat moves a little quick for me to follow, but I try and... Up on the right of the bridge. Okay, cool. I try and uh, at least read them all. Whether I sort of read them all out is another matter. Right, back to normal. Okay, what have we got there then? Elegant hat. <gasps> oh, it's so elegant. Oh, it looks like something the queen would wear if she was going to a wedding. 
Uh, what are dodo codes? So dodo codes are a five-digit code you can get from the guys in the airport that you can give to other people to allow them to visit your island. It has truffles written all over it. It does have truffles written all over it. I don't know whether she'd like it, though. It's very much a truffles hat, isn't it? She's out and about, isn't she? I think I've seen her. It kind of it kind of says Flora a bit, but I kind of don't want to ruin her head. It's truffles. Um, let me just put my hat back on first before I give her the wrong thing. Truffles, come and have a nice hat. Let's cover that hair up. Oh, she's got a fancy coat on today, look. This is yours. Truffles is still here. Truffles is fast becoming our favourite. She's so lovely. It's just a shame she... You know. <laughs> I love how he's a little on her. <laughs> a suit of lights? The hell is a suit of lights? It shrunk. It always does. But, like, she's got such a good big head for a big hat like that. I don't know why it shrinks them down. The truffles is something I admire. Yeah, yeah. We've kind of, we've grown to love truffles. I feel bad for how I used to feel about it. Look at that sexy little hat she's got on. That looks amazing. What's this suit of light she's just given us? Oh, it's like a matador outfit. I was thinking it was going to be, like, like, an actual thing that lit up. Um, no, it's, yeah, they, they, it's like, a, it's part of the Festival of Lights or something, isn't it? Is that right? That's really cool, actually. That was a, that was a, a good, uh, that was a good trade. I'll take that. I'll take that and run with it. Okay. Uh, Flora, have you got fleas? Flora, you are far too fancy to have fleas. Come here. Yeah. Number of hats, in fact, very big on someone like Truffles. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's weird, isn't it? There are fleas on me. I've got, I have got fat bug cushion skills. I have. Uh, okay. Uh, why did we come over here? Was it just to give her that hat? No, that we got that from a balloon. But why were we over here popping balloons? We were getting yellow flowers. So just to the right of the bridge, somebody said. I can't see any. Did you get mixed up with the tulips? Or am I just being blind? So a video on Twitter and somebody's gifted the animal the flea. They just caught them. Ah, oh, I wouldn't do that to Flora. She's too sweet. She can't help being an animal that has fleas. Uh, okay, right, we need to... Let's try... I don't think we can even get up here now, you know. <laughs> Fleming, uh, Fauna's uh, brother here is causing us a bit of an issue. Maybe if we do that... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Um... Do birds even get fleas? I don't know. Chancy, I'll send a few in a minute. What's that, Atlantis? Send a few what? Thanks, but I, I've got to run about. Sorry. The Aries rocking chair would look really good on your farm. It looks like a sheep. Oh, that's an idea, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen a few people do, like, tigers or... Oh, there's another animal-y type one as well, I think. I don't know what it is now. But yeah, we've got the we've got the Aries rocking chair DIY. I think let's have a look. It uses loads of stuff though, just for the just for the sake of it being a sheep. It's a good idea though. Uh, let's have a look. Aries rocking chair. I'm sure we've got the DIY for that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It uses two Aries fragments. I think I've only got one. Gold nugget. Oh, that's an expensive DIY. That for a, <laughs> a jokey little sheep thing. <laughs> Oh, fl flowers. Thank you, Atlantis. Birds suffer more from mites. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Aries. I think we've got one Aries fragment in, in storage. Um. To be fair, my, my biggest problem with those is I don't play at night very often. So I'm rarely here for... Um, I'm rarely here for it. 
basically. Because I, uh, I mostly play in the daytimes. Uh, Paper Tiger will look cool in a jungle setting. Jungle party. Oh, why haven't we thought about doing a jungle bit of the island? That's an incredible idea. We could put we could put um we could put coconut plants up there. Like tiki style stuff. Potential future. I did, yeah, Callie. We we mentioned briefly that um that like farming might be coming, but I don't know. I I never hold my breath with that kind of thing because the amount of stuff that I know like about about games like uh there's the best way to put this. Like there are things that you can data mine from some of the games I play and the the things that you find are never coming to the game. Because it's basically just that the, the thing got cut for some reason, but there's some reference to it somewhere, you know. So I, I always take those kind of things with a pinch of salt. Uh, but still, yes, I do think that this is this game will be... Um, uh, oh, nice, a bit of cash. I do think this game is the one where we start to see la like content updates over the over the next couple of years. Where like it just seems like that's the sort of thing they should do. Oh, we've got a letter. Uh, renovation notice. Oh yes, I forgot to mention this. It's been upgraded, so they're going to be closed tomorrow, basically, and then the day after, it's new. Look at these two. I haven't really got a apology one. I'm not going to talk to Knox just in case it makes me talk to um, Limburg because Limburg's out of here. You can go coconut inland if you plant the ground with sand first. Ah, I thought they just grew. Do you need to put sand down, do you? Okay. I just thought they would just grow full stop. But yeah, maybe coconuts will like maybe that bit behind us here. This could be this is quite this could be jungly, couldn't it, up here? Yeah, they only grow on sand. Yeah, so we could. Who's placing Limbo? Whoever we get. I've got some amiibo cards coming in the post, so we'll we'll pick one of those five. We could like we could totally farm some coconut trees up. I mean, I've got plenty growing as it is, to be honest. Right, these ones here. I wonder if they're not growing because they don't look much bigger than they were yesterday. But uh, we can farm. We could we could plant a load of coconut trees down here and get them and then move them. Oh, there's a lost item there. I will try and release it with its own uh, uh, open. What did we get? Bamboo basket. I think I know that. Oh no, I don't. Okay, what's the bamboo basket? Oh, that's ace. It's literally just a basket with some bamboo in it, but that's dead good. Oh yeah, bamboo and jungle themed area up the top. Low dark dirt. Bamboo furniture, some like dark wood furniture. Oh, I'm, I'm into it. Thank you so much. Whoever that was who came up with that idea, you blew my mind. You absolutely blew my mind. Okay. Can't believe we didn't think of doing a jungle area. We're dressed as like a jungle explorer. Monstera plants. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Is that one of the plants like in a pot? That's the problem is all that all those kind of plants are in pots. Uh, okay, so that's that done then. Those the next three will grow. Okay. Ooh, an itchy nose, excuse me. Right. So let's move one of these up to here. So this is this is the thing that's really gonna make this space pop. Is all of this kind of stuff hanging out? Uh, where did that go? The hand cart. There we go. All of this kind of stuff just like hanging out, getting in the way a little. Some weeds down. I know these don't help our rating, to be honest, but I, I just I, I, they, I think everywhere looks too boring without them. 
This is the sort of place that would have weeds growing. It's a farm, you know. Um, yeah, I think I do like um, put down a watering can as well for deco purposes. Yes, that's a good idea. I've got some boots already that I've put down there. I think they look pretty good. Like it's, like the farmers took the boots off before they've gone in. This is Truffles' house, by the way. I don't know. She's not really a farmy type, but I thought she's a pig. Kind of fits the farm theme. Um, yeah, so we've got wasps nest. They're going to go down as well. They're, we're going to put them around the, the beehives. Um, and we need some like flowers around the beehives as well, don't we? So we need to get some coloured, different coloured flowers. Let's see what, what's just been sent. Because, yeah, beehives need to have flowers around them, don't they? Oh, nothing's come through yet, unless if we do this, it might. Yeah, there we go. Oh my lord. What on earth is going on here? Very random. Thank you, Mackie. Love the love the uh, wrapping paper. Let's see what Mackie sent us, because we're going to have to clear some of our bags out here before all this sort of opens up. A superhero. Wow, that's Ace. <laughs> End man. <laughs> That's really cool. We'll put that on a. We'll put that on the wand. What I was thinking was um, for Halloween. Uh, get a scarecrow. We've got a scarecrow, yeah. And each one in each field would look good. I've got one at the minute. <laughs> um, we have a, we have a a scarecrow. Uh, there it is. We've got it. We've got it ready to go. So what I was thinking here for Halloween, I'm going to change the whole of the wand up to just be Halloween costumes. So like a spooky one, a superhero could be a good one. Basically, yeah, just do Halloween costumes all of uh, all of Halloween. So hay bed we need, that apple can go away. Corral fencing can go away. Uh, I'm going to keep the flowers out. Hay bed dolly can go down. Can I store? Just drop the money on the ground for a bit. The dolly can go into storage. Thanks. Uh, I keep the country fencing on, uh, on us. Need the weeds on us. Need the hay beds on us. Okay, so a lot of that now stuff is just need, stuff needs to get placed down, right? What we got here? Bubblegum. This is a really good one, I think. Oh. Uh, go for it. It's not really my farm idea. I'm sure there's other people doing it. Oh, you can't even hear that, can you? I bet. Let's get some mute. Let's get some noise on it. Bubblegum is a really good one, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> what? Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to, it means a blast you out, but it is a bop. it is an absolute bop. Thanks for the visit earlier. I love your island. Yeah, no worries, uh, Jordan. Thanks for uh, thanks for the stuff. Okay, we always have that on shuffle. We get a different song every day. So the only one with canon lyrics. Oh, that's interesting. They sing to it. They sing to all of them. We do have ragtime. Yeah, that's a bop as well. We have but ragtime on in the workshop. Okay, Lunacra. Got an extra DIY. Uh, the last I saw you didn't have. Give it away if you do. Thank you, Lunacra. I will do, yeah. Uh, flowers for you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you need more corn, thank you. Oh, my word. Are we getting loads of corn now? <laughs> thank you, Billius. Thank you, Nix. Uh, Decal for Nox's house, like suits of armor. Got some music. Thank you, Chloe. All for your fencing needs. Thank you, Chloe. Let's have a look then. Uh, hyacinth bags, lovely. Log decorative shelves. Ooh, no, I don't think I do have that one. Somebody's given me the shelves, but I don't have the DIY for them. Thank you. All help source the DIY goal. Uh, more of those ones, lovely. We'll, we'll probably just replant those around the island, to be honest. There, we've took them all up. So we've got a bit of yellow. Knight's helmet. Not, can you... <gasps> but you could can you like place them down? Oh, look at that. 
Wow. They would look pretty good as like statues, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me, folks. My Somebody that I need some maybe speak to is on the phone. Sorry about that, folks. It wasn't wasn't who I was hoping it was. I'm just gonna check my emails again. We're waiting to hear if we've got this house today. So any call I'm taking, any email I'm looking at, nope, nothing yet. Never mind. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. We'll, we'll definitely find a use for them. I might just keep one myself. That'll make a good Halloween costume. Corral <laughs> uh, fence. Thank you so much. That's a good, it's a useful fence that we'll use that one a lot. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Right, let's just go and drop a few more things off because this is my first stream. Yes, it sure is. Welcome. Um, am I waiting to hear about how this is stressful? I hope it turns out. Well, I'm trying to put my mind off it to be honest, but obviously if the phone rings, I have to get the phone, you know. The problem is, it's like, I wish they'd hurry up about it. Not because, like, obviously I just want to know, but like, if it's a no. Then, then we need to we need to put a deposit down on something else, you know. And we've got another one that we saw the other day that was fine as well, but you know we haven't got the we haven't got the money to throw a couple of grand down on multiple different houses, you know. So, so this company's got two grand of my money right now, and if they don't want it, give it me back so I can go and give it to somebody else. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how, how I feel at the minute. Um, I got a mustache bucket. He looks proper baby face without the mustache, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, Scarecrow's coming with us. Hey, Bear, these Knight's Helmets will pop them away for just now. Uh, Flea can go to storage. Okay, I think probably going to hold on to everything else. KK Etude. Um, all less money's been on us. Uh, I don't think I ever heard why you moved to Canada. Uh, somebody says because Canada's out. yeah because Canada's awesome and the UK wasn't for us really um, oh no ah that's a bit of a weird picture it's, that's a bit classy that one isn't it a bit classy uh, is housing expensive in Canada Um, housing is a bit of a funny one in Canada, really, because it you get more for your money at like a higher level, but there isn't much there isn't much cheap housing. So, if you if you are in a situation where you can, and it massively depends on where you are, of course, as well, yeah. Um, but com comparatively to the UK. Every farm needs a supply of water. Thank you, Italics. Um, comparatively to the UK, you get a lot more for your money, but they, but like outside the big, outside anything like other than like major cities, they don't really have anything like terraced housing or uh, or anything like that. Um, uh, God, enforce it. Oh, nice brick one. That looks good. That's nicer than the one we can make. Our one's like a, or the the nicer than the one we can buy. That will look nice. Up against the house somewhere, I think. Where can we fit that in? Maybe these boots can move. How far? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't want to pick up the weeds. I'm gonna put that there instead of the boots. I know it'll cover up the sign. Well, cover up the sign a little bit. How close can we get to the to the door? 
that looks good there. And then if we put the boots next to it, it's like a it's like a boot cleaning thing. Then no, I didn't want to put them on. You moron. There we go. Maybe this is a pricey, yet. Yeah. We're in London here, and we aren't as bad. And obviously, if we move a little bit further out of London, we probably will do. We're looking at uh, Strathroy. You get even more for your money. Um, uh, 300k house in the burbs, like London, would be well over 2 million. Yeah, it's the exact same as in London, right? In London, UK. Like, something in Liverpool that costs 80 grand would cost... Five, six hundred a million, maybe in, in London. So uh, that kind of right out. But what I mean is, you, there's not much like at the low level for housing. But if you can afford five hundred grand on a house, you'll get a hell of a lot more house here than you would in the UK. One den, one level townhouse, part in Toronto, I paid six fifty. Yeah, so there you go. But if you look out, like like in Strathroy, like if we were to buy in the UK, if we were to move from where we lived in the UK and, and buy with our sort of current financial situation we could afford like a nice sort of like three bed semi you know in the in 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 Liverpool near the city centre but not you know not in London obviously London UK you get like a three you get a three bed semi with a garage probably um the same money somewhere like Strathroy like 15 minutes away from here will get you five beds uh, a fully decked out basement with a family room and a den and place for a bar and a pool table and a pool outside probably as well. You know, like it's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's the same everywhere. It's the same everywhere. It's going to be more in a town than it would be in a in a you know rural area. Uh, some of the was for physical therapy. Oh, I hope it goes well. Um, yeah, three hundred grand in Maine will get you a massive farmhouse. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's the same everywhere. It's all gone up in price. It's more expensive in the city, but you you do in general, you get more for your money here than you would do in the UK. Uh, right. Let's go and buy some flowers, because we have a we have a little selection here, but not not many really. Like they, like there, let's just plant those a minute, right? Um, I can hear it. I can hear it. Where is it? Miles away. It sounded like it was really close. That one. Oh, we bought one of those the other day. Oh, it's a nice white one, though. That looks better than the one we've got, I think. Um, hey, Trough. What's going on, girl? Sleepy? Log stakes. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Was Andrew going to have a mix act? No, I think as Andrew will sound Canadian. Um, uh, I don't want to buy anything off you. I want to get it from the catalog. Every time I watch it on your stream. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, yeah, no, it's got Xander will sound, grow up sounding Canadian. We have friends here who are from the UK. Well, the, the husband is from the UK. Um, and they have boys who were born in the UK and moved here when they were four and seven, uh, four and six, and they're now seven and nine. And they and you wouldn't know they were British. They sound one hundred percent Canadian. So yeah, Xander will sound Canadian. Yeah, kettle pot for the campsite. No, I think the campsite's done. We've got so much stuff there. Oh, they probably would fit. I do still have the lost item. Yes, I need to ask people about that. Um. Red Windflower. I don't... These must change. 
We did not have those before. It's just all red and all white. That definitely seems to be different. We need some of these as well. And no trace of an accident. Yeah, of course. It once as soon as they hit school, man, that's it. Over the age of thirteen, your accent can't change. Below that, you can be influenced with that. That's no, not true at all. Because I have a, I have a friend of mine who who's from the UK, um, and has lived in California for six years, but moved there in her twenties and as beginning to sound Californian. Yeah. So you will always get, and I, and I, and I also uh, an auntie of mine lives in Kentucky. Um, she's passed away now. She passed away in her eighties, but she moved to Kentucky from the UK in her thirties. And if you spoke to her, uh, the uh, like before she passed away, she you wouldn't think she was living anywhere else in the world than from Kentucky. A deep Kentucky accent. So yeah, no, it, it will always get you. I hate the idea of sounding that weird sort of mix of North American British, but unfortunately, it looks like it probably will happen over the next sort of decade. Yeah. The species change. I started with tulips, pansies, and cosmos. I got lilies, roses, and wildflowers. All oh, right, okay, I have to keep an eye on that. Then I thought they were the same ones. Like a decade and a half later. Yeah, it takes a long time to do, and I think probably some people are more susceptible than others. But yeah, that that being thirteen year old, that's yeah, I don't know where you got that from. Live in Australia, friends, some of my family live there, and I low key say some words with an Australian accent. Yeah, well, I don't think I've actually started saying anything with an accent, but I, I, I've started using like uh, Canadian uh, sort of linguistic tendencies, I suppose. Like I've started saying A, like genuinely, hear myself saying it. How about that, eh? <laughs> and that's, that's a year. Flower cycles every three to four days. Oh, I have to keep an eye on that. I didn't know. That's good because I want some more roses. Uh, hey, Jonty, what jobs did you have before YouTube? What job haven't I had before YouTube? Directly before I was a YouTuber, as in like the last job I did before going full time, I was a um, a support worker for adults with mental health issues. Um, but then before I but but I've done so many different jobs. <laughs> Genuinely. I've been a magician, I've been an undertaker, I've been a graphic designer, I've been a barman, I've been a singer, I've been a quiz host. What else have I done? A shop worker, worked at Aldi for a while. I've done all sorts. Undertaker, yeah, Undertaker's always one that people weeds people out. Somebody's got to do it, haven't they? Yeah, I was an, I was an Undertaker for... Um, I was an Undertaker for a good few years, yeah. What the hef is an undertaker? So you've never heard of an undertaker? Oh, I'm, I'm going to assume you're not British. Sorry, an undertaker is somebody who deals with dead people and funerals. <laughs> Guess just never really think about it. Yeah, no, yeah, somebody's got to do it though. Best job in the world, burying the dead. Well, I, I, I mean, it was a good job. It was easy money. It was good money. Mortician. Are you saying what you are or? The mortician. No. Well, I don't know. It depends where you are. I don't know what the ter what the word is. A mortician is somebody who works in a mortuary, so they're they're people who are who are helping with with things like embalming and and um uh um oh god, what's the word? What's the word where you cut somebody open and look inside them before they're dead? <laughs> After they're dead, sorry, to decide, to figure out how they died. What's the word? I've had a total mental block. Autopsy, thank you. So morticians are people who work in mortuaries and deal with things like autopsies. That's not an undertaker. And an undertaker isn't a grave digger either. That's a separate job. So a, a grave digger um, will most exclusively just dig graves. Like that is their job. Um, so, a, so a mortician will work with people like coroners. Yeah. So... Uh, autopsy was the word I was looking for, thank you. But yeah, a mortician will work with people like coroners to do autopsies and, and care for care for the dead in mortuaries. Yeah, the chat looks weird right now. <laughs> um, uh, an undertaker 
an undertaker takes them from the mortuary and gives them to the grave digger and everything in between is what an undertaker does so from sort of building the coffins driving the hearses and the limos uh dressing preparing the bodies storing the bodies um all that kind of thing <laughs> that's that's what that was my job that middle bit from from mortician to grave digger there's a bit in between that's undertaker <laughs> although it may work differently in other countries but yeah working at a funeral yeah so working at a funeral but then obviously most of our job is stuff before the funeral p preparing the deceased um you know that that kind of thing uh the definition of a mortician is an undertaker that must be a different term then that's not in the in the uk a mortician is not an undertaker so that must be in somewhere else the states or somewhere uh, yeah, did I? I didn't do makeup. There were there were people who would. I, I didn't. I, I couldn't put it on myself, let alone ten people. Uh, how did you support people with mental health issues? So, so I worked in a six feet under. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I um, I worked for a company that owns a, a apartment block. Well, they had numerous ones, but I worked in one of the buildings, an apartment block of 15 apartments. And in each of those apartments lived somebody um, who um, who couldn't live at home for whatever reason or didn't want to live at home or, what, or, or you know, wanted some sort of independence, but didn't quite have the, uh, the faculties for, for a fully independent life. So it was my job to help them with things like laundry, uh, cooking, cleaning, paying bills, going and doing food shops sort of uh, helping them sort of make the right choices when it comes to things like food they should eat and how to budget their money, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it was really rewarding. It was difficult, but it was really rewarding, yeah. Halfway house, not really a halfway house because they wouldn't really move on to somewhere. This would be where they lived. And a uh, hospice is for people who are passing away. So no, not really a hospice either. It was just a, they're just called, a, they're just called supported living or assisted living, yeah. Um, Chat's taking a weird turn. I don't know if it's weird. We're just talking about stuff I used to do. Yeah, assisted living, supported living. Yeah. Um, is there a job called a funeral director? Yeah, so a funeral director was my boss when I was an undertaker, basically. Yeah. Um, should I craft something? I want to customize something. I want to see what the options are on this. So we've got natural, white, red, blue, yellow. Do, 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 do. It's natural or yellow. Did you need a bombing chance? That's what I was looking to get into. Good money. Really good money. But no, that's that was like a... I think you need a degree. Like that was like a full-on specific position. So we used to have an embalmer just sort of come in and do it. But uh, but yeah, good good money, yeah, embalming, yeah. I like yellow. I like yellow. I think yellow, yellow, natural, natural. Yellow is what the odd one is. Yeah, that's fine. We can make them all the same. It doesn't matter. Why well, do both? Hmm. I like the fact that yellow's got a different color roof. You see. It's pretty split in it. Natural, natural, yellow, 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 yellow. I think I'm going to go yellow. I think the, the chat seems pretty, pretty split on that one. How many jobs have you actually had? Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, the very first job I had was delivering yellow pages. Yellow pages was a really big directory of, of businesses, and they were about this big. And I could carry about six of them in one go, and then I had to go back home and get some more. Um, Alex Shush. Um, so Yellow Pages, that was my first job. And then my next job was uh, working as a, a roadie for a, for a clown. <laughs> um, carrying stuff in for a clown. Um, and then I had... Um, and then I worked as a, as a waiter in a, in a breakfast restaurant. Um, and then I worked as a, a receptionist in a hotel. That's four. Waiter, receptionist in a hotel. Then I worked as a night porter in the hotel, so technically a different job. 
Um, then I did, uh, then I worked as a barman. Then I worked as a um, graphic designer. Then I worked as, after graphic design, then I worked as a magician full time for a little while, just doing magic. Um, and then I worked as an undertaker. Then I worked at Aldi. Quizmaster was before Aldi. Well, 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 Quizmaster and Magic kind of sort of trickle over all of these, but Quizmaster as well. Uh, I sang for a little while. Uh, care uh, assistant. Um, uh, YouTuber. So 13 jobs. There you go. <laughs> The other page is big phone book businesses. Yeah. Taylor looks at numbers. Yeah, it's basically before the internet existed. It's how people got phone numbers for companies. Yeah. Oh, babysit. Oh, yeah, I babysit as a teenager. I wasn't including that. <laughs> uh, what did I sing? Mostly standards. Uh, a lot of Frank Sinatra, that kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, so if you've heard of Yell, that was the same company, right? Uh, how did you get into working with dead people? I I, I applied. I, it was when it was the it was when the recession hit, uh, the, like that the, the sort of famous early twenty early two thousands recession, and um, and the magic work stri dried up a little, and I thought I'm gonna have to go and get something here to do in the day, <laughs> so. Uh, I um that's it they're both yellow now we're gonna pick up the others now I know what the color is uh and the only jobs really available were bar work or um or, or this undertaking job popped up I thought well bar work's no good because it's gonna be it's gonna be uh at a, you know at the same time I want to do magic work uh so I applied for it and got it yeah do I'm American Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it was like a it was a big old phone book full of adverts for companies, and you kind of it was before the internet was really big, and you kind of had to be in it if you were a company. Like that's where you would go. Like you sat here, and I'm like, oh, I need a locksmith. That you would go and find your yellow pages. Everyone had one, and they'd flick through and find locksmiths. You know. Um. Yeah. No, I'm not singing. Although we have said. Um, it's a family business. It, no, not really. It's a bit of a... Yeah. If you had a beaver tail... Yeah, loved it. Love. Loved it. It was amazing. We had what, we went down to Grand Bend for the day, which is the, uh, a beach about an hour away from us. And I had a beaver tail, and I was I was so there for it. <laughs> People that all the yellow pages. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Beaver tail are so good. How were the first days of Undertaker? Fine, really. I had no problem with it. Um, I I assumed going into it that I would be washing cars for a couple of weeks and stuff, and they were like, no, you, we're just going to throw you straight in there because if you can't deal with it, we need to know now rather than let you work here for two weeks and then you see a dead person and can't deal with it. So you're pretty much diving in there straight away. Um, uh, but yeah, no, it's fine. A lot of people came and went while I was there, like started the job and couldn't do it, but it just, it was kind of okay for me to do. Um, a beaver tail. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know how you would describe it. It's like a really long donut, like a long flat donut, I guess. Like imagine a beaver's tail, like a big like flappy, you know, like paddle. It's like, it's about that big. It's like, like donut mix, like a funnel cake kind of thing, I suppose. Uh, and it's like cinnamony sugar all over it. And then you pick toppings, all the usual things you would imagine. Uh, bananas, fruits, chocolate, ice cream, cream, that sort of thing, you know. Like a long flat fried dough with tons of toppings. Yeah, there you go. That's, it's pretty pretty standard, really. Um, just like a donut, but, but long and flat. But they're awesome. Yeah, they're really good. That's the sort of thing you have at festivals and carnivals and stuff. Elephant ear. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I couldn't think what the American version was. Yeah, it's like an elephant ear, yeah. Let's call it fried dough. 
Yeah, it's, I suppose, yeah, elephant's ears or funnel cake, all that. It's similar to those kind of things. All the same, aren't they, really? So many different takes. Yeah, I think it's um, it's cheap. It's super cheap to make. And all you've got to really do is get lots of different toppings and you're suddenly like a cool little specialist thing, you know? Now, what a donut. I could eat a donut. <laughs> you think you're from Alabama? Yeah, I think you're picking up something you've road killed. <laughs> I think that's it, isn't it? Then we've done all the lowest. Why not make them colourful? I'm not really into doing old things, random colours. I like to think what they look like in real life, and I, I very rarely... They're normally white in real life, actually, but I didn't like the white-looking one. Don't say, you're a donut. Haha, <laughs> no, you're a donut. Have you ever tried frog's legs? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I had them in France a few times. Never really... I haven't really got an opinion on them either way, to be honest, really. They were, they were fine, I suppose. Quite just plain, relatively plain white chewy meat. We do, we do cover food a lot. Yeah, you're right. Um, do you do magic shows for your son? No, he he's not really at an age where magic means anything yet. The, the big thing with magic really is that like, until a kid's like four, f f like. Everything's magic. You turn the turn the light switch on and the light turns on or you know, I can put a phone in front of him that's got his grandma look looking at him. It, it, you know, it's not They need to know what's normal before they can know what's abnormal. So yeah, about about four, four or five is the age that magic starts working for kids properly. So we would do when I would do magic shows for kids, I would I wouldn't take any birthday parties that were like four or less really. Four, well no, you'd do fours, but the the magic show we the the party we did for four-year-olds was much more like parachute play, games, like puppets and stuff like that, you know? A lot less sort of real sort of traditional magic. But then at a fifth-year-old's birthday party, we would um, we'd do like a magic show then, you know? But you can't wait to do magic for him. I'm, honestly, just, I don't have any props or anything anymore, so it's going to be that kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, start construction. Food and this live stream of John T and Animal Crossing is practically all I look forward to. All I look forward to at the minute is these live streams. <laughs> so it's the only sort of semblance of a routine I have at the moment. Uh, yes, okay. Where'd your thumb go? <laughs> Did you do it for the job? Or were you always... In yeah, no, I was into it as a kid, yeah. So, um... Uh, a guy called JT, uh, I think his name was John Thomas, uh, a friend of my dad's, bought me a magic kit when I was eight, and ever since then, yeah, I was I was really interested in it. Yeah. Long as even watch a short. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, three three years old. We we wouldn't do parties for three year olds, and then four year old parties were more about like games and play and stuff. Yeah. Leave that area there, I think, for a tree. I feel like we're playing progressively less and less AC. Yeah, to be honest, it depends. Sometimes we get a load done. I really get into a vibe, but my big my big problem with it at the moment is I hate this pathing tool. Like it's just so slow. So whenever I've got to come to do it, like now, I'm just like, ugh, you know. But no energy. Can't show me that recent video did with Xander. It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> I've seen a few people do those. I was like, oh, I reckon I could have a go at that. <laughs> Terraform. Yeah, just terraforming path is like, ugh. Everything I see is slow and arduous. Well, yeah. 
I mean, the whole game is relatively slow paced, and that's fine. But like, I sh like even just let me hold the button down and walk around. You know, just little things like that. They just come with. Yeah, you just start accruing them as you get on, really. So you get like, uh, uh, there's always one on the on the floor every day, like at the beach. Sorry. I think there's always one every day. Um, then uh, three times a day, there will be a villager in their house building something. And you can ask them for that DIY. So like a morning, afternoon, and evening. Yeah. Hang on, I'm interested. No, no, I get it. No, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> um, Nintendo doesn't do convenient. This is true. This is true. So Nintendo aren't known for uh, their convenience gameplay so we're doing these this is going to be where we have like flowers okay so that's what that's what all this is and the flowers will come over both styles of dirt all right but i do think it's important to get this sort of mix of dirt in. i think it looks good okay so beekeeper's hive okay there's that we will get them off that grid but we need to think about where the flowers are going to go. So, like this one, for instance, can be off grid. There you go. That's already off grid. That looks better, doesn't it? Well, another one there. Nope. There we go. You also find that this sort of stuff comes together really quickly as well. Like, you'll be sitting there for ages doing not much, and then all of a sudden, boom, starts to look like something, you know? Change one thing about um, ACNH, would it be the pathing tool or something else? I think probably multiple crafting would be the big one I would do. Um, make it so that I can craft more than one thing at once. As in, like, I've got ten. Uh, I've got I've got ten fish bait to do or something. I should be I should just be able to go ten, make ten, and like or buying as well. Like I should be able to say, like when I go and buy those customization kits, I, I want to buy a hundred. You know. That's that's it. That would probably be my big one. Do we have a tree that we haven't planted? Hmm. Saplings. That's not where I wanted to put that. And craft. Oh, crafting from storage. Yeah. Being able to craft from what you've got in your storage. Yeah. There we go. That's where that's going to go. And I think we could probably put one there as well. Yeah? Okay. So then all of these got to be flowers. So that was red, white, uh, yellow. Oh, I might have put two red next to each other there, never mind. That was yellow. No. There. Maybe I can't put one there. <laughs> I'm guessing we can't put one there. <laughs> we said that you do it as well storage like a bin. Put your materials in so it doesn't fill the house's storage. I was see that's interesting. Uh, I've never filled my house storage. Never. Yeah, I think I think if they're gonna be bringing in some quality of life stuff, I think that'll come. That'll come them. Yeah. Interesting to see what we get. Definitely be interesting to see uh, if we get stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it'll be then, yeah.
Okay. That'll look good in a few days, I think. So then this path can come down in here. That tree is going to have to shift. Oh, thank you, Joseph. Uh, pair character turning around, waving his hand, saying, hey, you, while lowering his glasses. <laughs> That's really weird. My chat. Yeah, it's the little pair dudes. <laughs> the chat I use that shows me YouTube and Facebook, which is useless because there's nobody watching on Facebook. Um, the chat I used to show me describes what it is. So I thought you just sent me the message. Pair character turning around, waving his hand, saying, hey, you, while lowering his glasses. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, thank you for the uh, the super chat. That's awesome. Has anyone played a bit of Earth Day yet? No. Other than it's Leaf doing it, that's all we know, I think. Any new game releases you're excited for? Uh, Evil Genius 2 later this year. Yeah. Uh, do the moderators get paid? No. <laughs> I'm going to... Pay them. No, they're just uh, community members who are very often here and uh, like to uh, help out. And I'm very appreciative of their support. Uh, that was a cherry tree, that one we picked up then. Okay, where can we put a cherry tree? There. Tree there would be pretty good. Hello. Have you played the new South American Planet Zoo DLC? Yeah, we did two videos on it, but I, I didn't. I wasn't really very impressed with it, to be honest. It wasn't that it was bad, it was just like. Here's another four animals. I, just, I don't know, I was really thinking the DLC with Planet Zoo would follow the more the lines of like, here's new features, like here's uh, birds or here's aquatic animals, but I was just like, yeah. Here's a few animals. It just, yeah, the, the pieces were nice. The animals look good, but yeah, just not enough. It wasn't enough to really sort of take me back into the game, unfortunately. I'm glad Animal Crossing's come out because I don't know what I'd be covering on the channel otherwise. Uh, the more you plant, the more isles you earn. Nice. We're doing well for Dream, uh, for Thingy Mars at the minute. Look, Miles. Planko ever coming back? Uh, they're bringing out Planet Coaster on console, and I'm imagining Planet Coaster 2 is in development. And, uh, um, blessing slot. Yeah, there's loads of people making, you know, the same habitats over and over again in the game on YouTube, and I'm sure they're doing a great job. Just, I was getting fed up of making a grass square with flowers and rocks in and an underwater viewing area. So I stopped. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit bitchy, wasn't it? I didn't mean it to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just, I just, I got a little bit burnt out over Christmas and never really managed to get back to it, unfortunately. So it's a shame because it obviously it grew my channel quite a lot. But. Did anyone say there was a website we look at the AC furniture list? Yeah, Nook. Uh, oh God, what's it called? There's one a really good one where you can make like a wish list. Um, I don't know what it's called though. I've got them all written down, ready for. When we do that video, yeah, you can see back in the day one and two. I did never played three, yeah. And waterfalls, yeah, of course, got like hundreds of waterfalls on there. Nookazon is like Amazon, but there's one that's got nothing to do with like spending money or anything, it's just, just like a place you can document like what you want. Windmill will be good. There's this uh, silo here that we've got that's pretty good, that thing there. But yeah, a windmill would be cool, actually. Yeah. You ever go back to Famous Fortune? I, probably on release. Like, when it gets its full release, Lisa will probably have a look at it. it. It really doesn't do very well on the channel, unfortunately. It's such a shame, because it's such a fun game. It's got really interesting mechanics. But it just, yeah, it just never never does well. I don't know why. Um, wish I could make it do better, because it is a really good one. That is genuinely a case of... I, just, I, hate, I hate it. But that is a case of where, like, the YouTube figures pay, like, have to have to kind of take precedent. And unfortunately, it, yeah, it just, it just, it's detrimental to be paying that on the channel. Unfortunately, you know. Look taller if you put uh, put it on a two by two platform hidden behind Travels' house. Hmm, that's a thought. 
my worry with it is like it, uh, unfortunately the house isn't in the best spot like we could probably do two by two there but I don't know would it would it look right would it look like it was obviously on a two by two platform I don't know maybe if we move that cherry tree it's not a bad suggestion you know should we give it a go that's something we can give it a go and then we're gonna have to find who's this uh who's this lost book is the thought process with the path that I'm laying is I wanted it to look like it's it's a it's a concrete path. It was a one point stone path, but the dirt's kind of grown over it and stuff. It doesn't look great because of the big grass chunks in between it. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's, that's the idea. Um, I'll need to put it on a three by two. Well, it's only a two by two, isn't it? Let's have a look. Look at the recipe is the easiest thing to do in it. Two by two. You can see what you're trying to do. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, look, poop. Honestly, think if the silo was pushed back a square northwards, you get a bit of forced perspective. Best you get. Well, we can try. I don't mind trying. I don't mind taking suggestions and giving it a, a look. I've got a feeling it ain't going to look right. Oh, I didn't actually eat that, did I? <laughs> do any of them want to eat a wasp's nest now? Oh, we need to put those down by the by the uh, thingies. Yeah. Ooh. Safety first. Oh, I'm not. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Just for this one little bit. Um. Okay. They really do need to put Easter the first option for through, I think. I don't really get what. Did I decorate for Easter? No. No. We did a little, um. We did a little Easter hunt for my son. But, yeah, that was, that was it. So let's have a look. So the idea being here is that. I mean, the problem is, is we'll never see it. Because, like, you'd see it there. Well, yeah, I'm not, not, not 100% this is going to work. But it's definitely worth a try. Um, definitely worth a shot. Uh, we'll need one more there, won't we? Okay. So uh, here's a design code. Unfortunately, we haven't got any space left for design codes. Yeah, see, that's the problem with that is you're never actually going to notice it, are you? You come here and just see it, and you can see. No, that's a shame. It's definitely worth a try. Definitely worth a try. But no, I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it's for us. The problem is pushing it back one. Although I do agree, probably off kilter with the building may look, make it look better. Is we're going to struggle to get round it. Unfortunately, I put Truffle's house a little bit too far back, probably. I mean, the other option is just sticking it somewhere else. It doesn't have to be next to Truffle's house, you know? Imagine waking up as a whole farm just turned up. Just rocked up out of absolute nowhere. I think it looks cute next there. Yeah, I think I do. Definitely worth trying out. No, I appreciate the idea. I, I, I could see it. I could see the logic behind it. Let's get that tree back in. So it can go there. I've no problem with it sitting back. Uh, it's just a it's just a small silo, isn't it? Silo, whatever. Close enough to trust to hide it. Yeah, that'd be nice as well. Bad up.
Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No way, no way. Boo doo 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 doo. Mana mana. Alright, beekeeper's done. Um, oh, yeah, wasp's nest. Let's put the wasp's nest down. So the problem with these is the, these are all going to basically class as trash, I think. What on earth would I want it there? Is that because that's off the block, basically? Right. Let me try that then. Sit on top of weeds. No. I reckon if we take that weed up, it will. I'll do. I don't like that one just so far away from them. How about we pull that out? And maybe it'll fit behind it. Hmm. Okay, I'll do. Okay, that's cool. Play D and D. No, not into it at all. I should be. Love this. Love the idea of the fantasy and the characters and everything. But I don't like the fact that it's just dice rolls. Basically, there's no there's no skill, unfortunately. Hey, what you play across your? I play over across. I do that all the time. If I'm not streaming. Uh, hi, Jonesy. What do you think about using Weezy decorations, even though you're kind of forced to remove it to increase your iron score? Yeah, I use them all the time, and it doesn't help. My iron score is like a level three, I think. Like, even with all of this theming and, you know, custom builds and stuff, it, I, I don't I don't think we've ever got over three stars. We might even be two stars again now. Let's go and have a look. Hold on, though, because I can hear. There it is. One shot. Oh, so close. Ah. Oh no, please, please do not start telling me how I'm wrong about D&D. Like, I, I, I'm more than happy that people love it and it's a huge thing. I just don't like it because I don't like the fact that things come down to a dice roll. That's all. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's crap or bad. It just isn't for me, all right? You don't have to tell me how I just need the right DM or something because I've heard it every single time I've ever mentioned the fact that I don't like D&D. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was the DM, so it's nice though. Yeah, uh, you're not the only time I've ever played it though, Andrew. I, I've had it, I've had other goes since. Just It just isn't for me. <laughs> Never happened in New Leaf. Well, crafted. There was no crafting in New Leaf, so it's to get you. To, it's to get you crafting in it. Should we do label quick then before we wrap up? Label. It's label. Our name is now. Sorry. In fact, I wonder if you could give me a. Come on. Sure. Um, what's the? Oh, sorry. No, to apologise. What did you say? The equipment breaking. It didn't have any newly. Yeah. No, I think that's it. It's just because it's it's there's crafting now, so they want you to keep crafting. So you did the last item. Oh crap! No, we still haven't done that either. <laughs> Come on, then. What we got to do today? A fairy tale look. Knights, princes, and storybook characters are your kind of inspiration. We have definitely got some fairy tale stuff. What have we, what's she giving us? A royal. Ah, oh, I think we've got a royal shirt. <laughs> okay. Thanks. No. I know what you want to do. I just talked to you back, and that's all. Um, oh, I hope this thing's not Limburg's. It means I'm going to have to talk to him, doesn't it? You drop this. Uh, 
Yeah, the knight's armor. Yeah, well, we have a knight's helmet. Yeah, which I think will probably do it. Yeah. Maybe go and check with truffles. I can go and check with truffles. She was she was pottering around before. Let's have a look where she is now. Oh, no, Flora. Oh, there she is. It's an autograph. Well, I'll find it for you. Here it is. <laughs> dee dee. Didn't you get the Prince's shirt the other day? I did, yes. Yeah, so I think it, I'm thinking Prince's shirt, Knight's helmet. I'm not sure what boots we've got that'll really go. I might go and have a little look if there's any boots. What you got for me? Are they Prince boots? <laughs> Cycling shirt. All right, thanks. <laughs> Please check your mail. Yeah, of course. Okay. I can hear a... Oh, we haven't got a slingshot anyway, have we? So I can hear a thingy. It's right there, look. That's really annoying. Let's see what boots they've got. See, part of me thinks like those steampunky goggles, but no, it's, it's got to be helmet, hasn't it? It's got to be helmet. Uh... Oh, that's, that's, that, that's nice, isn't it? I mean, not for this, but that's just nice. Um, that's nice as well. <laughs> I like the little hat. <laughs> uh, Zen hair clip, they're cute. The headband, really good, really good stuff for, uh, for girls in today. What the hell are they, those? Oh. I quite like the tiny shades. This is a this is a look right now is this is a, a look Sporty sandal steel toed boot. I guess it's we've got boots and stuff It's gonna have to be boots and stuff isn't it for the outfit today. Nothing's particularly jumping out I wonder if those small hats are even smaller on troubles just like a little <laughs> That is I mean that is a strong look uh, one of the one of the uh, Animal Crossing uh, channels I really enjoy watching is um, Austin John plays. Unfortunately, his mother passed away um, a couple of days ago, so I don't know whether he's going to be taking a break from videos for a little while. Um, but uh, he he does a really cool thing where he he starts the episode naked or you know in shorts and t-shirt basically, and then every day we'll just go and buy a full outfit in one go from Able Sisters and wear that for the rest of the episodes, which I think is really quite a cool way of doing it. Yeah. So yeah, his mom has I mean, That's awful, right? God, I'd be. Oh, sandcastle, lovely. We'll definitely put that on the uh, on the ground. Thank you, Atlantis. Um, the odd clothing item. Thanks. Is it is it fantasy themed, fairy tale themed? That's what we need. Oh, why is drop item the first thing? What's his name? You put it in chat. Yeah, Austin John. A U S T I N John J O H N imitation cow skull. Wow, that thing's insane! I love how they have to point out its imitation. That's awesome. Like I just you and him are my favourite for AC content. Yeah, well, I if I wasn't if I wasn't streaming, that's that like his content is the sort of content I would produce for AC. I think like just a day's worth of stuff compressed into a thirty-minute video. That, that's that's a real good way of doing it. I think. Uh, yeah, don't show it to Norma. Oh, could we give it to Norma? You can get the dolls. Now I think if you set stuff down, doesn't it just look like a hat? Yeah, see, it puts it on this little head. It's such a shame. If that just went on the ground, it would look great. Don't wear that near normal. I'm going to give it to her. 
Nice. Have a good uh, have a good raise, Malova. Uh, what are we even doing here? What's what is life? Oh yeah, fantasy outfit. I definitely prefer you streaming. Yeah, I will, and I can, but you know, if if I wasn't able to stream, that's probably what I would do. Put in storage, polo shirt, put in storage, royal shirt, put in storage, imitation cow skull, put in storage. Is that it? Okay, cool. You could probably hang the skull up on the wall. No, I think if you put it... Oh, I don't know about hats on the wall, actually. If you put it down in your house, it puts that little helmet on it. But, yeah, maybe... Maybe it would go on the wall. That's, that's a really good shout, actually. It'd look quite cool in the jungle room, wouldn't it? I think. Does it actually give you an option to put it on the wall? Because I thought it did for some stuff that could go on both. Have you got to be in the wall menu? It kind of puts it on a weird hatty thing, but I reckon if we put it on like on the oh no, that's pretty good. It would probably be better on the back wall where we'd actually sort of see it straight on though, right? Maybe we uh Yeah. Oh right, we'll have a think about that. Definitely definitely something to think about. Thanks. S rank from Happy Homes on yesterday. Way nice. If you gave it to uh if you gave it to Get, will that make her AC version of uh, Cubone? If you gave it to De like Deidre, with that on her head, would look a little bit like Cubone, wouldn't it? Give it to Norma. No, no, because Norma's a care. That would just be like weird. <laughs> but no, Q oh no, because doesn't Cubone wear like his mother's head or something? So we've got Cavalier shirt. Right. Let's just let's take everything off for a minute. Okay. Let's let's strip. I think curly moustache probably isn't going to do us any harm, is it, having that on? Right. So we've got that Cavalier shirt, or we've got Royal shirt, or we've got Prince's tunic. Or we've got this steampunk one. Oh, oh, we've got these ones as well. They probably fit, don't they? So I think we either go for royal shirt or prince's tunic. What do you think? Yeah. Prince's tunic's got like a little cape on it as well. I just don't want to necessarily use the one that she gave us, which was that, right? Prince. Uh, yeah, prince's tunic, I think. Okay, so then... So we've got that one as well, Thief's Costume. That's neat, isn't it? Basically the same as that one, but slightly different attire. Now, trousers we might struggle with. We don't have many trousers at all. It's very all, often very few options. So we've got crop pants, casual pants, explorer shorts, or striped bell bottoms. I mean, probably just from as a look, like those ones, but the, the, the problem is they're not going on when they actually look like they're going on like the, the how they're categorized in the game, right? Um, Cavalier with the helmet. I mean, not none of the pants are good. We just we've ne very rarely got. So we also have the Cavalier hat. So it's like almost an outfit there. But I mean, the knight's helmet is just too cool not to use, isn't it? Tight, so we don't have any. Winkle pickers, water shoes, steel boots, lace up boots, I think are probably going to be the best one. Just not sure. Oh, by the way, can I just point out that we got the boots that match this now? 
<laughs> There's no gloves for it though, I don't think. Which is a shame. That's ace awesome, isn't it? <laughs> the white socks with his original boots. Yeah, that's probably not a bad shout, actually. All right. Cavalier. Helmet. Uh, knight's helmet. Is that it? Are we going to go for that? No, this is our own stuff. <laughs> Black pants. We don't have anything. We don't have any pants. We've just got those cropped. I suppose they they look better, but I don't know whether they're actually going to count. You know, look like Knox. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Okay. Come on, <laughs> let's go see how we get on. By the Cavalier hat. No, I, no, I think we've. I mean, the Knight's helmet is just. It's what the hell's the stereo playing? The Knight's helmet is just too good not to use. I think today the Cavalier hat we've had there sat for ages. The, not, the Knight's helmet has come in today, and then she said fantasy. I mean, it's just. It's just too perfect. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -do -ba -de -de. Hey, Knox. I know Tom. Nice of him to come all the way here to visit. I can use him. Must be good buddies, Cluckling. He's all right. Sends me sends me dolls like a weirdo. What happens again when you succeed? You get an item of clothing now as like a gift, and then in the next day she sends you some tickets for free items in the store. Yeah. Wonderful. That's exactly. Oh, okay. Combination of clothing radiates that perfect fairy tale look. Okay, and we get another label item. Oh, Deidre zooming. <laughs> label knit shirt. Deidre having an absolute ball. Loving life. Go! You're welcome, Label. Let's have a look at what you gave me there, Lebel Knit shirt. Oh, it's gross. Um, yeah, he remembered me. What did you What did you do to him, Tom? Glad I sent that sounds today. Perfect timing. They were amazing timing. Yeah. Someone mentioned that they have the full suit of armor earlier. Oh, nice. Mine and the Naruto run. They're not. It's not a Naruto run. They're just. They're like kids playing. That's how my little lad runs. He's never watched Naruto. <laughs> Maybe you better get more pants now. Yeah. The problem is there's, there's very few options for men. It's always it's always dresses and tights and stuff. Okay, we've got quite two cycling shirts now. I like this. Uh, okay, so let's get back to the ball. From the bottom up. Traveler's bag. Uh, antique boots. Rim specs. Curly moustache. Oh, it's all coming back together, look. <gasps> I forgot we had a deer stalker. That's pretty sweet. Oh, shorts. Where's his top? Turn armor. Nice. Okay. So to kill Limburg. Limburg can just do one. Da -da -da -da. Men have it so hard. Now tell me about it. Oh Jesus! What the hell was that? Just knock my sub subwoofer over. Subwoofer that I never use. You change your socks. Oh. Okay. We're gonna update this. Change image. Oh no, Ch change sort clothes. We're going to put that. Where's that wading outfit? Where are you? Where are you? There. Yes. They're awesome. I mean, they're, they're, they're just so good for this. That's his fisherman outfit. Hat doesn't kind of go anymore, but I'm okay with it. 
and then hiker as much as i do like this this flannel shirt and it kind of fits i think that's a better fit for the hiker even though it's called fishing vest socks no that they're the right socks aren't they Yeah, they they were they were the ones I was wearing anyway, weren't they? Was it those? Oh no, it's not stockings, is it? We got some really cool tops. We've got some cool clothes. Look at that one. Can't wait for Halloween. We've got some cool options for Halloween. Alpinist overalls. And we have the hat for the alpinist as well. Where is it? Boom. Look at that. <laughs> and then we've got the cavalier suit. That's, that's pretty much done there. Where's that just gone? We had it on before, didn't we? <laughs> and a halo. Yeah, boots and boots and trousers are the are the one thing that's really holding us back right now. The hills are right. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit sound of music, isn't it? When you're wearing different boots, the antique boot. Have we not got the antique boots on? Yeah, that's right. I oh, know I have some my socks off. Never mind, it looks quite good without socks actually. A wizard hat. Yeah, Merlin outfit. That's what we're thinking, yeah. Hi, shadowing. Not paying attention. We were just messing around with some clothes. Just going to have one more look in Ables and see, but it's five past three. We're going to have to call it quits soon. Because the little man needs to wake up and we need to play with some Play-Doh. It's a gorgeous day out as well. I might take him out for a little potter with the dog. I was wearing the lighter boots. They're the old... Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of pairs of those. I think I might quite like the darker ones, though. We'll see. Look, there's these at the back there. They look... If there's, like, a black pair of those. <laughs> Hit up! <laughs> I never noticed how she said that before. When she says hello there. Hit up! <laughs> right, let's have a look. Belts. There's bell buttons. All far too bright colours. Cargo pants. What colours are the cargo pants, please? Left to right. One, two, three, four. Uh, what else have we got? Pants, that's it. Yeah, it's just nothing, look. Might get some of those tiny shades, and they're quite fun. They'd be so good if they were just on your... If you were there. There's one more khaki colour. So yeah, we've got khaki. Oh yeah. I think we've got those colours for the working uniform. Dark, yeah, green, blue, khaki, beige. Yeah. Brown. I'll get some of those ones then. Um, None of the tops are particularly jumping out. I mean, we've, we've got a groovy tunic and we've got an emblem blazer already, so. We can get one of these, I guess. Silk floral plinth, that's pretty nice. And we'll get some sock. Sock options. There we go, purchase. Yes, please. No, I do not want to wear that. There we go. I'm just stocking up the uh, the costumes there, you know. Match the shade better. Brown isn't bad either. Match the shade of what though? Doesn't really matter, does it? It's just it's because the, the way that thing's gonna work is that every item of clothing in this game is gonna have a tag, right? It's gonna be like this is a fantasy outfit. This is a you know. So it's getting a big selection of them. So is that when she turns up, you've got a whole selection of stuff you can uh, you can give her, you know. Uh, right, that is it, I think. There's there's one more. We haven't found a fossil. Somewhere today there is a fossil. And I pray do not know where it is. 
No, no, no. We just no. We, we like the outfit we've got. Add to cart would be really good, yeah. I see. That makes sense. Match the colour better. Yeah, no. We oh, we haven't looked at flowers today. Right, this is the last thing we do now. That kid's gonna sleep way too long. We've got four black roses. Anything else? Weeds. Nothing today. Wow. Nothing. And water before I forget. Can possibly under path paint? Yeah, they can, yeah. They can be under path paint. Oh. You're joking. I'll finish them off later. Oh no, I'll just run through some roses as well. Nobody at the campsite today. Oh yeah, money tree. Oh, I'm going to have to come and have an hour later on and get all this crap done. Ah, oh, there it is. I was going to say, it's usually there's one at this top end as well. Boom. You yawning made me yawn. Sorry, yeah. Curling my hair only took me an entire stream. Was it worth it? Well, if you feel good about it, then it was worth it. Good before I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Eden. Good night. Oi, you lazy. Mention of that yawn made me yawn, yawn, yawn. Take your time. I'm taking my time. Assess fossils. Maybe not for entertainment. Yeah, of course. Uh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Oh, did were any of them any good? No. What did we get then? Uh, Plesio skull, a stego torso. And a diplo tail. Let me check my little uh my little uh thingy. Who where's me where's my little uh fossil list? There we go. What did I say we got? Let's have a look. A uh, diplo tail. Uh Jordan needs a diplo tail. Stego torso. Oh, this is neat. Okay, stego torso. Uh, no. Plesio skull. Plesio 
skull. No, so it was just that uh, Diplo tail for Jordan. Okay, put it on the bottom row there. So I know I'll send that to him, and then I will log off. Um, ba -ba -da 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 -da. Boom. Bum, bum, boom, 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 boom. Thank you, Joseph, for the uh, the super chat. Uh, how are you screen recording your Switch? I use an Elgato HD 60S, I think is the full name for it. Yeah, an Elgato HD 60S, I think. But what? Yeah. Oh no, Pro HD 60 Pro. I think it is. Whatever the most expensive Elgato capture card is, is that one? <laughs> um, Diplo tail. Oh, look at her watering the plants. What a little doll. Half straight, halfway, being all frizzy with split ends. <laughs> I know mine's getting re mine's getting really, really floppy and big now. Don't clip that. Um, getting some right little fluffy bits around the back. Look at that. I mean, it probably doesn't look much like to anything, but I, I normally like to keep my hair relatively short. Yeah, exactly. Big and floppy. Send one. Uh, I'm going to send it to a friend. And fluffy around the back, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I'm like a woolly cow because I can't cut my hair. I'm, I genuinely think I'm going to shave mine. I've never done it in my life, but um, Jordan, there we go. He's, Jordan's got a different switch name. I was just checking that was the right one. Uh, that's cool, isn't it? Cool card look. One, you just get the number one, Jordan. Uh, Diplo tail. There you go. Now is the time for crazy haircuts. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might shave it and do. Yeah, what I was thinking of doing is doing a live stream. There's a little button popped up on the YouTube thing now where I can click it and it puts a little donate button at the bottom of my video for um for like COVID charities, and it, the money doesn't come anywhere near me. It just goes straight off to YouTube's charity thing. So I think I might do that. Just set up a live stream and and shave me head and take some donations for charity because I've got hair clippers. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get Nick, get Nicola to buzz cut it. Yeah, so I might do. I might just let it get a little longer. It's not quite getting in the way. It's when, it's when it starts to get here to my eyeballs. That's when I really don't like it. Luckily that I've got like a proper little uh, cow lick here, so it keeps it off my face a lot of the time. Um, while playing AC, yeah, yeah, of course. While playing AC, I'll just all I'll do is I'll just blow this up. Like to to this, <laughs> like then I will play AC like this and get my head buzzed. That's how I might do it anyway. Like I might just start streaming like this, you know. Like, can I undo that? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> cool. Right, we're gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, uh, Audi is coming, so we'll have Audi here. We're gonna check her place out. Uh, she'll be in boxes, but we're going to see what she's doing. And then the day after that, we'll have the new Nooks Cranny. And uh, and all this time, we're going to be working on, uh, you know, some of our builds and stuff. Loved the jungle idea. Definitely keep your eyes out for jungle uh, suggestions. Um, every donation is one run through the clippers. No, because then nobody will... One person will donate, and then nobody else... <laughs> they'll just have, like, a reverse mohawk. <laughs> Right, love is ultimate, folks. Till tomorrow. Be good.
Hvað er í matinn?